Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm an international dating coach and a dating and flirting expert on Ease Famously Single. Are you using Snapchat for dating? Well, maybe you should. It's easier to get a Snapchat username than a phone number when you're out at a party, event, or bar. Somehow a phone number seems more personal. Snapchat for dating allows for you to show your authentic, quirky, this is my life self in real time. It can minimize your chance of being catfished or bait and switched because you're seeing a living, breathing person in action. It's harder to lie about the decade of your birth and then post a video of yourself in the present moment. It's a great way to pre-qualify a date before you go because you get to see video, see how they move, hear their voice, get to know a little bit about their reality of life. Dating apps can just present the very best side of someone in their best light, most beautiful, optimal moments. Snapchat shows real-time video, so you can show and share moments. The filters are fun, too, because they enhance and even show off your more quirky individual personality. Snapchat creates trust. You're seeing each other today, right now. You can see who's viewed your snaps, so you know who's actually interested. There's no hiding. But before you start, have a plan and purpose ahead of time and stick to it. Do be clear on the types of photos and videos that you plan to post. Be careful about what you post. And don't, don't get carried away by the spontaneity of the app. Do not stray from your plan just because it's a fun, spontaneous moment. You don't want to give away too much. Don't post videos while partying or drunk. Don't post in the middle of the night when you can't sleep. Don't post when you're depressed. Don't post when you're in a moment of low, low. Yes, Snapchat allows for you to get real. That doesn't mean that you should let it all hang out. Remember, when it comes to your Snapchat and dating, you need to have integrity. Integrity is do my feelings, match my words, match my actions. So if you are looking for something real, then don't act or talk about dating in the fun zone. The way that you present yourself, that's remembered. So if you're always drinking, if you're always partying, if you're always depressed, if you're always complaining, if you're always something, that is how you are being viewed and perceived, and that is how they are going to look at you. That is the identity, the brand that you are creating. So decide what your Snapchat brand is. That doesn't mean that it's being fake. It's just that maybe you're not showing every single side of you at all times of the day and night. If your dating purpose is to find love, then be on that purpose. If your dating purpose is to find fun, then that's a different style of dating. And that's fine too. Just make sure that you're dating on purpose. Snapchat can allow you to find fun and you can also find love. Please remember to like this video and subscribe so that you can make sure you don't miss any of my dating videos. And you can follow me on Twitter at Dating Laurel. If you have a question, please post it in the comments. I might even answer them in an upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to hear from you and see you soon.